Hey, what up, guys? It's Sick, and today we're going to try and do Oubliette of Light. Uh, I didn't know how to say this word until this morning. I was calling it uh, Weebliette, uh, because I think OU is... Why is we? I don't know. I, I don't speak French. Oubliette. Um, that is how Google says how to say this word. Oubliette. Oubliette, a secret dungeon with access only through a trap door and its ceiling. Um... I don't think we came through a ceiling. Are they hitting us with some bullshit? All right, so I did this yesterday. This mission is going to be probably the mission that everybody hates uh, and they're probably going to have some challenges with it. So let me kind of walk around it real quick and just kind of point out stuff that's going to happen. I've only been in here a couple of times uh, I wiped two or three times yesterday, and then I killed it. I didn't record it because I was in voice chat uh, with CWTN. Uh, so we were just kind of hanging out while I was doing the shit show. But this is how the mission more or less works, okay? We talk to these two dudes right here. Speaker to light, speaker to darkness. When this happens, two mobs spawn. One spawns here, and one spawns over here. Now, these guys are trying to kill these two, so you need to you fight them both, okay? Uh, as you're fighting them, there'll be some orbs of light that spawn. I'm just going to call them balls because they're giant round spheres of light, right? So the balls are either going to spawn here and here, and then also down the bottom, or they spawn in the middle, okay? Now, if they spawn here, there are going to be shades that spawn that go this way with a big-ass purple bullshit thing. Okay, now you don't want to get hit by the big-ass purple bullshit thing or you die. So, uh, you're gonna, we're gonna fight the two little mini dudes, uh, little two side dudes that come out. Uh, when these balls come, we're just gonna, we're just gonna step over here, right? And that's gonna put us out of the way of the purple bullshit. And we're gonna come back. Then what's gonna happen is, uh, the balls are going to spawn in the long path instead of the short path. When that happens, the shadow guys spawn, and then they're going to go this way with the purple bullshit, okay? So when that happens, we need to be like right here, and we need our team back basically right here, because the, the, the circles will kind of be, you know, overlapping. Basically, if we're in this triangle on the ground here, this triangle that we see that I'm kind of sitting in that this, this makes, we're probably safe. If your dude's over here, dead. Dude over here, dead. Dude over here, dead. Dude, way the fuck down here because he has no fucking idea what's going on. Absolutely fucking dead. Okay? Once we kill those two dudes, these two mobs are going to come alive. It's uh, Fade and Umber. Okay? Um, so, I think it's... Uh, they might swap or something. I fought the left guy first, but I thought it was Umber that I fought first. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was Fade. Anyway, um, they both do some different stuff. Like, one does a knockback, which can throw you over the ledge, which you absolutely don't want to happen. Um, but the really important part of fighting these is the fact that you're still going to get the balls, okay? You're still going to get the balls that spawn here, and if they spawn here, they're going to go the short way, and if they spawn here, they're going to go the long way. Now, why this is really important, and the thing that uh, I failed the time before I won, is when I was fighting this guy, I was fighting him down here. When I killed him, I had the long balls spawning, right? So I had to stand in this triangle here. And when that happened, the big guy was dead, the two little bastards spawned, and they were like, ha, 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 we can come kill these things, and you can't do anything about it, because you're dealing with purple bullshit. Uh, so that wasn't great. So what I'm going to end up doing is, as I'm fighting these, I'm going to try and relocate that big bastard all the way over here and fight him over here. And then we just dodge the purple shit. Now, after that happens, uh, you have 30 seconds to run into this last room. I don't even know if you can run Yeah, I guess you can run around and you're gonna fight the guy in this room. Now, it looks crazy. There's some wacky shit that happens in here. It was super strange. I'm not even really sure what was going on because of the darkness and all the other bullshit. Uh, there's two yellow things on the ground. You don't wanna step in those. Um, there's a giant donut. I believe you wanna stand in the middle of the donut uh, and you kill the jailers as he pops. Otherwise he gets health locked uh, and then he just dies. So that part wasn't too bad, actually. It just looked crazy. Uh, it's a neat looking encounter, but this is this fight is about team management. 
uh, not stepping in purple bullshit. Okay. <sighs> All right, so we're back in Oubliette of Light. I just wiped because I moved my dudes through the purple and I shouldn't have. Um, if I had a token of recovery or something like that, I could have got a res off, uh, but I didn't have any, so it was my shaman who walked into purple and died. So we're going to try this again. Um, again, this mission is going to be pretty unforgiving. Um, and just going to have to, uh, you know, <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of practice for, for most folks to get this. All right, begin. We're going to have the two dudes spawn on the sides. So we need to tag these guys ASAP. Uh, tag this guy. And turn and tack on to this guy. So he hit my bard. Uh, again, these guys come running in super duper quick. Reposition here. Uh, I'm going to keep my Shadow Knight in mode zero, Shad mode zero. So I can move around and not stick. Um, it's pretty important to be able to fluidly move your tune around. So. Uh, mode zero is probably the best way to do it. So you just have to pick your target and turn on attack for the Chavis Name class plugins. Um, oops. And these guys are dying pretty handily. We should have the balls here soon. So they're either going to spawn down the long hallway or in the short corners here. Then we're going to adjust. All right, so they're spawning here. So we just want to move right here. Just want to move here. So I'm going to target myself. All my dudes are going to run to me. Which hopefully that should bring the mob. I can see in my group window here that everybody is close to me and just the mob. Now I'm not going to target him until he gets out of that fucking purple because if my dudes go to the purple, they die. Um, so the issue that happened to me that wiped me in the time that I tried before this is when I was killing the, you know, the named guy that spawns. Um, I killed him right when orbs came. And uh, that didn't, that wasn't great. Okay, so I need to get all my dudes in this little triangle here. The triangle. All right. Again, if you leave the rooms, the ship will reset. So that's bad, you don't want that. And uh, you want all your dudes kind of in the triangle here because if the long balls come, they will overlap uh, just enough that you have room here. Okay. Fade begins to emit shadows, drop light. Okay, so we can see kind of, kind of that the balls are down the hallway. They're in the long hall. Importantly, they're not right next to us. So we need all of our dudes clumped up down here. Uh, and we're gonna wait. So if we would have, if we would have been down there and killed him, these uh, these ads might have come in and we might not have been able to uh, to do anything with him. You know, and we don't want that. Try and get these clumped up. I'm just gonna back up. These should be good here. All right, so the balls went away. I wanna tab to this guy right here and just make sure that I got a little bit of damage on him. I really wish it wouldn't open up that fucking corpse. All right, so we're gonna have orbs right next to us again. Um, just to keep things consistent, I'm gonna move to the same, same spot that I was moving to before, which is the hallway right there. Um, it's, well, no, actually, uh, I don't know if he's going to run, if he's going to path to us, but we need to come over here for the orbs. So we're going to kill, uh, target myself. So all my dudes come and then we're going to target these guys when we get here. Um, back him up a little bit more just to be sure. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent on how generous they are with being able to not get roasted to death. Um, but okay. So. This guy's gonna come live, and he's gonna rumble his ass way, his ass over to us. Now, I think this is the guy that does like a knockback. Anyway, we're gonna go we're gonna go over here and position up. And uh, who is he fighting? Oh, he's fighting swarm pets. That's not great. I'm here. I should fight you right here. My mic. Sorry about that. All right, so we're fighting this guy. Um, now until rebuild happens, you will need to burn now with the chat with this name plugins for Umber and fade. Uh, once rebuild happens, then you won't have to do that. Okay. So the orbs, we got the light from some of the lamps drop again. Uh, they're down the hallway. 
Um, and we can ignore that because we're standing here in this triangle. We should just a smidge. There we go. Now we get ads. There's some other bullshit where you can't uh, you can't get healed and you're like immune to heals and some other crap. Uh, so far, I've ignored it. Again, I only did this mission once yesterday. Uh, successfully, anyway, I pulled it two or three times. Um, but uh, the real trick for this yesterday was just avoiding the purple and then getting in on the last guy as soon as quick, as soon as possible. So that's what we're doing now. Uh, Umber's at 30%, 29%. So after this guy dies and the last guy becomes active, we're going to target ourselves and we're going to run straight to that back room. You have like 30 seconds to engage the guy or you fail. Uh, and I'm getting like back a little bit. Make sure I'm all right. Targeting myself to move outside of the uh, orbs that are about to spawn. Whole team is coming this way. Boom. And because it's the two little guys mini named two little guys mini named boss, I can actually be this this side of the hallway. I can be back this side of the hallway. I don't have to run to the entrance. And this guy's almost dead. He's gonna die here in a second. Okay, we're gonna target ourselves. Not sin of the purple. We hear a loud click from the doors at the end of the hall. That's in here. Uh, so we're gonna come in this room. I'm checking my group distance for all of my dudes. They're all right next to me, so I'm good to go. And uh, now, I, now I just wait for this guy to become active. And here we go. So we're gonna stay in the center of the room and we are going to uh, attack this guy. We're going to stay out of the yellow circles that spawn and um, a chat with his name may burn now. I'm pretty sure I put, uh, put these for burn already. This guy for burn, but I'll, I'd have to double check if I rebuilt after that. Uh, but I did, I did push that so next time the, all the plugins are built, uh, we'll automatically burn on this with uh, burn all name. So there's a bunch of shit. Um, I think this Gather Shadows is okay. I'm stunned. That's not cool. Go, bro. In me right round. That's for you, uh, Svet. Victorian Sense. That's your song for the video. Okay, so Donut, we're gonna stand in here. This thing looks cool as shit. It's not. It's not super clear on what you're supposed to do with this stuff, but I'm. I, Purple has been bad thus far, so we're going to assume stand in, in the goodness and stand outside of the badness. Now he does some weird stuff where he kind of like teleports you for a second, but you know, with the automation, we're right back fighting at him, so it's not really, not really an issue. Um, he's gonna spawn two jailers, and when those jailers spawn, we're going to need to attack them and kill them, otherwise he gets health like Okay, so you see, I kind of got turned around here. Now, again, I'm still in manual mode, so I'll want to make sure that I manually turn around so I'm not getting uh, hit in the back of the noggin, like, ah! All right, here comes the Jailer rolling in. So we're, let's target this dude, and we'll burn his ass down. By burn, I just mean we're going to attack him. I'm not actually... We should have some pretty good uh, burn carryover. From stuff. So when I did this yesterday, I ignored the jailers because I often just ignore ads. Uh, but he health locked the the big guy health locked. So we're just gonna we're gonna kill that, and then we're gonna get back to this guy and. Uh, our business here all right these are the yellow things that we were talking about just don't you know don't stand in the yellow thing it's pretty straightforward ah living golem shadow stone seeps and the jailer so i didn't have enough for glyph unfortunately uh, Glyph would help out a ton. Uh, this mission, as you can tell, is a little longer than some of the other missions. Um, so that, you know, that full five minutes of three minutes or whatever of Glyph is really handy. All right, so we're in the middle of the donut. 
This appears to be safe from the purple bullshit. I, again, I have a feeling that this mission is going to be the least fun for everybody. I haven't done the last mission yet, but I've been told that it's super straightforward. Um, this mission is not going to be fun for a lot of people. Um, I have pretty banging DPS, even though I'm all group gear plebs. And uh, as you can tell, it, it, this mission's taken a while. And there's a lot of like, if you do X, Y, or Z, you wipe. And uh, that's not super duper fun, so. Uh, all right, so turn me around again. The turnaround thing is like a shadow step. It like shadow steps you away briefly. Um, so you just need to make sure that you, uh, you're in manual mode. Like I mentioned, you want to turn back around and make sure you're banging on the mob. But we're almost done. Uh, once we kill this jailer, we'll be able to get the uh, last word guy. He'll be able to get to 0%. And after 0%, we can open the box and celebrate with a cool dance. I can't dance and I can't do the robot. So just pretend over here I'm like popping and locking, you know, kind of cool shit. Use your imagination. I know you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh, I'm turned around like an idiot. Use your own advice, sick. Face the right way. All right. Uh, so we just gotta open the chest and claim the reward. So again, there's a lot. There's a lot to go over in this mission, and um, I, don't, I, I think folks are gonna have a real tough time with it. And it is all about your team management and uh, moving. And once you have that down, you'll be able to do anything. Uh, some of these things are really about managing your team and moving your team. And that is in, in boxing, that is as important as the automation that you're using and their routines and all of that crap. If you can't get them to be managed and move around and stuff, you're going to have a bad time. Um, let's open up what all of this garbage is basically going to end up being. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Uh, fucking wisdom. Just all right so that is oubliette of light and uh, i'm gonna chip chop this up and uh and post it up 